Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Stasis. This is Gunnel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today, because look at that, that's a sunken generator. A large power generator is half submerged in the foul-smelling organic soup. I wonder if I can get it with the with this thing. I think that'll just break it. No, it won't. Anyway, welcome on in, and uh, last episode, what we found is how to get across these vats. Oh, there's something over there that I didn't see. A crossbeam. A crossbeam runs between the support columns. Okay, we're gonna need to look into that very, very soon. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's probably gonna be the way... That's where the broken ladder came from. Yeah. So, last episode, we found a little bit more about what actually happens in the station. We're still trying to get to Tia. Uh, we have lost contact with her after we crashed in our uh, uh, the, the tram. Um, and we're now... This is not medical. I think this is just the cloning vat section or something. Um, and we're around here, and to get here we got, had to swim through one of these things, and we had to electrocute everything, and it was a terrible mess. <sighs> but it worked. It worked, and uh, today we were looking at the VAT terminals over here. The metal stamp on this terminal indicates that they control VAT 11. In front of it sits a throne-like operating share, uh, oper operator's chair, uh, and yeah, like all the other ones. Um, so, let's read about that. Standard... Oh, actually, I forgot to check. Oh, let's see. Oh, that's... It's gonna be an important thing, isn't it? It's gonna be an important thing. These things are gonna be important. I can tell. So, this one, hello, my name is... It doesn't say anything. Maybe that says something already, because this might have been uh, where somebody lived. Wasn't this guy that lost his cheek? I suppose so. It was kind of crazy. Um, I love how the computers are all different. It's fantastic. It's brilliant. But, but this one apparently had a Luha or a... Oh, he doesn't have one. Oh, it had a, 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 a little Luha uh, doll or something. Let's see what this one says. So, Mary, be a little... Oh, something... Mary, something a little came. Its fleece was black as coal. When Mary went to bed one night, it ate her fucking soul. What? Mary? Oh, yeah, okay. Lamb. Mary, oh, I know what it is, but it's just a, I know what it is. Mary had a, a little lamb, its fleece was black as coal. When Mary went to bed one night, it hate her fucking soul. That's actually pretty awesome. I, I wonder if that's, um, I wonder if that's, uh, if that was made pur purposeful for this game or not. Because it's pretty awesome. Standard growth enhancements agents, complete human clones intended for immediate testing. Subjects appear to develop bone and tendon structure prior to vital organs, but following nervous system development. Growth of muscle has begun to progress. One specimen ceased to grow and was confirmed dead. Upon autopsy, three extra vertebrae were discovered as well as two ribs. Uh, however, only a few teeth were found deep into or within the mandible. Growth of all specimens has accelerated and given clone measures just under seven feet. Isn't that the supposed point? And possesses the auxiliary, auxiliary ribs and vertebrae observed in the failed subjects. Excuse for the hiccup. All vital. It wasn't. I wasn't me throwing up. By the way, I'm totally not grossed out by any of this. Uh, I'm, I'm. I'm serious here. Uh, I, although I understand if you are, My, our, our character certainly is. He vomits all over the place. <laughs> all vital organs are present to appear to be and appear to be performing normally, despite the abnormal rib and spinal developments. The clones seem to be perfectly functional and fully matured. One, however, was rendered blind as a result of improved sphenoid development. Improper. Not improved. Improper. Sphenoid development, whatever sphenoid is, but that went. That's much better than the other ones. Okay, so our way out it was probably going to be the crossbeam up there. Can John figure it out? John. Yeah. How oh, John? You are such a special person. Why did you even jump? Got it. Yes, you did. You are the man. Let's go. No. Nylon rope. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was going to do the same thing. Oh, please don't. Oh, the earth is shaking. It's not earth. We're in a space. Oh, shit, indeed. Oh, you should have dropped. You should. He should have dropped and gotten the rope back. I do imagine that we're not going to need it. Yeah. Yeah. Where is he? Where is he? John? Where the hell are you? Oh my god. I saw something. Johnny's over there. John. 
Oh, I see what we are. I, th I see what we're doing. Okay, so I, I see. I see. Okay, so basically this is where we were before. Oh, man, I was kind of lost. I had no idea what was going on. So we're going to climb over here. And it looks way cleaner from up here. Although there are vats all over the place. Yeah, let's go. Uh, you can see. You can, can you see? So basically we were seeing this before. And now we're seeing all of this. And we're going towards the light that we saw in the last episode as well. It's easy. It's straightforward, John. You can't throw up in that position, man. It's, you're already dirty as it is. John? John, can you hear me? I can. It's here. I, I can hear you. It's soft, but I can hear you. It's soft, he says. Hmm, that reminds me of a joke. It's only micro when it's soft. Yeah, funniest joke ever. Anyway, we have a boarded up tram. The boarded up entrance indicates that the trams have uh, been out of service for some time. You wouldn't say this whole space station has been out of service for some time. Why did they do graffiti up here? Rare, uh, barely or rarely trafficked areas breed unconventional forms of life. Here, the graffiti tagger was covered. The, uh, has covered the tram station with a wild variety of tribal markings. Is it tribal? It actually looks just kind of a mess, to be honest. I do like that little thing. You could have done nice things with that, but it doesn't really tell me anything about the, the stop sign or whatever. Or that dangerous sign. I suppose that was there before and wasn't made of graffiti. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's go through here. We have another tram. Tram line in shadow. The tram grips the tracks greedily with her many legs. There is some sort of interference with the structure. Yeah. Uh, I'm in a tram station. I think that it would be. Either that or a gem. Okay, so he's over here. John is. Oh, hi! I want to be friends. Let me follow you. I didn't see you. Oh. Okay, can I go up there? Okay, I can go. No, don't go. Don't go. Don't go right now. We can go somewhere. Let's not go there. Can you go there? No, we can go back. Oh, I want friends. I haven't seen these guys. Although they are probably clones and uh, maybe want to kill him. The tower. Thank you. I am pressurizing the raw materials containment tank. Yeah, come in. John, thank goodness, I can hear you. He just disappeared. No radio, no PDT. Who the hell was that? Dr. Harvest Milan has a special project. He knew you. It's a big ship. And, um, I'm in a different division to him entirely. And you met him once. A real arsehole. I just want to get my family out of this goddamn place. That's the plan. Yeah, she's talking about a guy that we met a couple of episodes ago, Dr. Milan. He really wanted to come for her. So, I'm not really sure if what he's talking about right there. I got the feeling that he really didn't want our survival to take place. Uh, so, I don't really know. If we're in his laboratory, we might be. Special projects, huh? You mentioned earlier that you lost my PDT. Yeah, what's that mean? Oh. Every person on board has one. Like animals. No. The tags monitor everything. Security access, food intake, location tracking. Everyone has a tag. We can use it to find my family. I'm afraid it doesn't work like that, John. Like hell it doesn't. If I'm tagged, then so are they. It's said. I can only access your tag because the dot makes scanners registered you. I scan for your family and I can't pick them up. I have a are they on the ship? Have they been rescued? It only means that PDTs haven't been activated. But I still have an idea that might just work. Yeah, she might be our best chance to get to our family, really. I also saw something over here. Or did I saw John? Did I see John? Maybe I saw John. Um, these doors, they take a bunch of time to, to open for some reason. And they all sound like clockwork. They are like clockwork, which is interesting. Uh, the tower, that's what he said. Uh, what the robot said anyway. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's go on in. I had a comment about that, like, animal stag, but, eh. Who knows what the future will hold for us. From the crew quarters, you should be close to an infirmary with a DNA sequencer. If you could get your blood into the sequencer, I can scan the ship for free or DNA. And then we can find your daughter. Then... We can use her DNA to find Ellen. Exactly. Notice. Reserve power facilities are online. 
Backup systems are now enabled and functioning at benchmark levels. The outside temperature is minus 218 degrees Celsius. Oh. Uh, this screen broadcasts only one channel, an endless storm of static. Who said that the outside temperature... Oh, you're talking about the, the outside temperature of the spa of space. Yeah. Okay, isn't that kind of like similar in every in every place because you need particles to have heat and you know the vacuum it's not really vacuum but it depends on how vacuum or how good of a vacuum it is so the doorway to the security office and the gloomy doorway to the crew room well there's a piano soundtrack on the background so I guess I'm gonna go to the crew room that's some meta for you oh boy once we know where Becker is how can I get to her there is another tram through the crew quarters once we know where you're going we'll move forward from there more trams. More trams indeed, and dead bodies as well. God forgive us. Is that what it says? Yeah, it is. Forget. I, I was seeing the other things. A long landscape of a serene mountain space intended to provide a sense of calm and perspective. And down here it says smile. With blood. God forgive us. What? What did you do that was worse than cloning? Because they really didn't mind too much the cloning. It was like, eh, we're cloning, sure. Uh, I mean, I'm not against cloning per se, just uh, I'm against what they did with the clones. So, you know, fully human, fully developed human beings, and basically they were treating... Because uh, uh, after it's cloned, it doesn't matter where it, whether where it was born, I suppose. Uh, so, yeah, the crumpled... Bo and basically they were treating them like animals, so, they, yeah. A crumpled body rests against the slanted bulkhead in a leisurely repose. The uniform indicates that it's a security officer. I cut his wrists. And this was Paul Hodgson. This whole shift change things shift change thing is uh, kind of strange. Putting Ronald in security when he's obviously not equipped strikes me as an, as irresponsible. Oh well, I'm sure I can uh, compensate. I know a notice went out telling us to follow the new security guidelines this evening. I wonder what happened. It's only a few extra doors to lock, as far as I'm concerned. Easy enough. Food supplies are stalled and people are getting nervous. Someone's been distilling alcohol despite the fact that express authorization is required to even possess it. I, Ivan was uh, describing the concept of moonshine to Ron not Ronald, and the guy asked how m moonshine could exist if we're still in a spaceship so far away from the moon. Oh, I swear to God, uh, if aliens board a ship and pick us off one by one or something, I want to see Ronald go first. I really want to do something about this alcohol situation. It's my duty to ensure that the Groom Lake's crew is secure and that important research isn't interfered with. At least, I like to believe so. These clowns don't share the sentiment. The ass end of the ship is just uh, just started exploding and jolted everything that wasn't bolted down. There's a goddamn pen struck in the w uh, stuck in the wall next to me. I can only imagine all the people injured right now, but can't leave on account of locked of the lockdown. Lockdown or not, station B is fucked. So getting to medical isn't happening. Some oh, that's not good news. We need to get there. Someone suggested that we could use the specimen transport track, but that's a shady. That's shady as hell. Yeah, well, it's gonna be what I'm gonna need to use as well. Uh, there's no leaving the security center now. Staring at Ronald's lifeless body is a fucking superior alternative to being ripped apart by whatever's outside. I hear screams. They're distant and muffled. Silence. 24 hours of silence. Not a scream. Not a footstep. Still not a word from Ivan. The guy look, looked away for, uh, from the atmosphere control room just before Ronald pulled the plug. I got bored and read Ronald's file. He had a lot of stuff running really deep. Maybe he wasn't ignorant after all. <laughs> That's again that sound. That's it for the water. Ivan refused to drink anything but moonshine. I tried my best to get him to have water. Stubborn bastard wouldn't hear it. He hasn't moved in a while. Yeah, isn't moonshine really bad? And really dangerous to consume? Can we take anything from him? Or just the data tag, I suppose. Or just the... No. Okay, it's all fine. Got another one over here. So that would be... The guy that... So this is Ronald? Security guard seems to have died while... No, this is Ivan. Security guard seems to have died while sitting in this cushioned recliner. It tilts back at an angle that will hold the body for a long, long time. Yeah, unless... Un until it kind of thinks. <laughs> this new guy, Anderson, is really something. Oh, we read about this guy. It, was it... It wasn't this guy, was it? Let's see. There might be kind of a relationship going on in here. Uh, no, it's Hodgson. That's right. Anderson, I think, was the guy, the engineer that we found before. 
So this new guy, I understand, is really something. Five minutes in the door and he's already asking what all the computers do. I like it. He's inquisitive. Uh, just like my boy back home. I'm glad he got put here in this shift change. But I'm uh, disappointed that neither of these two are ladies. I could use some female company. Could you? Could you? Okay, maybe Anderson is a little more confused than inquisitive, but his art is in the right place. I can respect that. But Sarge? Uh, how in the hell did he, did the boy get Sarge from Surato? Um, Paul is just plain obnoxious. Food's not coming for a while. Fortunately, somebody asked... Uh, somebody's been making moonshine. It's not the white oak whiskey from back home, but you don't come across much liquor in space. Looks like I'll be moderating the supply, so to speak. Hodgson just tried to arrest someone. Prick. Rations are in! Good thing, too. The liquor wasn't keeping the crew at bay like it used to. The entire ship smells like shit. It's been bad, but it gets worse every day. It's been a different type of shit every once in a while, beyond me. Groom Lake is on lockdown. Tremors, powers, outages, and several injured. Some guys left three days ago to repair a tram station. Haven't heard from them since. I can only fear the worst, and I don't want to wait to figure out what's been going on around here. Paul and I have agreed to on a solution, but Anderson isn't grasping it. I don't expect him to. I knew Anderson would have uh, trouble coping. I knew he wouldn't understand. At least he went easier than he went easier than we will. He saw so much in his short life. There just wasn't room for more. He'll never have a funeral. Nobody back home is going to think of him and wonder what happened. I think Paul and I are the only people on this ship who knew him by name. Maybe that Samantha girl uh, he was talking about still remembers him. Her dog could have been named after him, or maybe he picked up a flower and she tucked it into a book. I never did read much, but right now I love to be holding a book. Paul would work. He's the only author I know by name. I haven't talked to Paul. He thinks I'm drinking, but I'm too preoccupied with Anderson for that. I figured I'm writing this for a reason. What if nobody ever even reads it? What if this ship just drifts to the edge of the universe, dead and empty? If you exist, if somebody stumbled upon this, remember Anderson by name uh, for me. He reminds me so much of how my son used to be. If you don't do it, nobody will. I don't beg. I never beg. But if you're a decent human, you'll know why you have to. Remember Anderson. Hmm. Barely awake, tapping in is an effort. Moonshine is not water. Hodgson, had last word. Yeah, you're kind of drifting away, aren't you? Yeah. Computer terminal. So, hello computer, how's it going? Security terminal. Can click. Crew quarter security logs. Oh, there it is. Uh, so I click that, Does nothing happens. November 2. Alcohol is being manufactured and distributed aboard the Groom Lake. Security has opted to take an approach of non-intervention, as its effect on morale will likely prevent theft and potential riots associated with the limited rations. Yeah, <laughs> give them booze. However, uh, security will regularly confiscate quantities of alcohol to moderate the supplies. Or, yeah, right. Um, who is actually manufacturing this? Is this... Because it could be something else. It could be... Uh, they kind of, I don't know, could it be something else? Rations have arrived and been distributed. Very few reported or evidenced cases or, or evidential cases of theft. This can likely be attributed to the morale increase speculated as a result of the distribution of alcohol. Specimen Samantha received for transport to laboratory 18. So yeah, that's right. There was nobody named Samantha. It was the specimen. And Anderson was the one that kind of dealt with her more, I think. The specimen from the cloning vats is contained in an iron lung. Transport needs to be arranged quickly. Specimen is scraping against the inside of the containment unit. Yeah, when did they take her? Tremors have struck the Groom Lake. Power outages and severe injuries have been reported. Lockdown is in effect. That was the explosions, I think. Uh, four crew members have been reported missing while attempting to restore a tram station to working order. To prevent further loss or injury, the corridor has been sealed and flooded with highly corrosive gas. Okay. Uh, so, is that gonna be atmosphere control? Activate motion detector. I'll need to figure something out here. Yeah, you will. Another terminal that might have provided access to advanced system functions if it weren't hopelessly powered down. Hopelessly powered down. That's what I'm going to say each time somebody asks. Do you have your cell phone on? And gentlemen, please take a moment of silence to remember Hendry Kane. We ask no. that you join us in recognizing his greatness. No. Anderson was the man. He was the man. Yeah, so next time somebody asks me about, oh, why do you have your cell phone off? And I'm going to be like, yeah, it was hopelessly powered down. Couldn't turn it on. Uh, security cameras, what is it for? Okay. 
So that's the, the gas. It's interesting that it's got an overlay. What do we have over there? Can I click? Looks like I can, but can I smash? No, they don't want to do that. I want to smash something. I wish I wish these screens were interactable, but they're not. It's a shame. It's a shame. Okay, so I'm going to need to figure out... Oh, what do I have here? So I have only a drill. Mm, motion detection. A motion detection device has been installed above the door, which I assume... Just fucking open! Yeah. No. John is not the brightest of people, I would say. Uh, so I need... I can't do anything for right now. Let's go into the crew, uh, crew quarters. Oh, for a moment there, that thing was red. Okay. That thing, this especially large frosted glass door is created with the dirt... Uh, it's coated with the dirt of neglect. And we have a dead body over here. Thank you. A body lies slumped against the entrance bulkhead with its head hanging forwards. It's almost possible to imagine him having a, a nap during a long shift. Don't... I could do something. No. What more? What? Help me, is it? That's fine. That's okay. That's Samantha, most likely, or something. Or something. September 27th. Uh, that's way earlier than the other ones. When did he die? Yeah, September 29. That's after the explosion, I think. Let's see. I'm getting sick of this bumps and scrapes bullshit. I didn't get this degree just so that I could stitch idiots up when they accidentally stab themselves with a pen. I want to do fun experiments. I Is that too much to ask? It's not like I want to be a mad scientist and sue new arms onto people or anything. Although human spiders would be cool. Eh, I suppose. Uh, it's a miracle. December 10th, the 7th. Security somehow ended up passing a container from one of the cloning vats onto me. It's labeled Samantha. Oh, is this Anderson? No, it's Rick Graham. Huh. They understand it's to be transferred to Lab 18. Oh, is this guy that screwed up? Huh. Oh, and that is Samantha that we heard, uh, I think. Oh, well. No reason I can't. Observe it for a while, right? I'll have my loyal assistants, Miriam, make up some good excuses. Oh, you're... Is she... Okay. Because she would be naked. Are you just gonna stare at her? I mean, I suppose you would do other things most likely, but... Really? I thought that she was the one with a tail. Okay, I guess everybody has their things. The creature is marvelous. Well, the notes included don't say much, but I'm pretty sure that she didn't have a fully formed spine where they passed this girl up. It describes her as being just the tail. There are some other bones as well, but I didn't major in monster anatomy. I wish I had, though. I can't make this shit up. Okay, so maybe that's that's just an academical interest that he's that he has in her. This fucker grew eyes. I mean it. She did not have these last time. Uh, she did not have these the last time I checked. They're rudimentary, sure, but they just grew. They follow me around. At this point, I'm going to take credit for Samantha entirely. I mean, they can't prove that there was anything more than some stem cells in that container the last they saw it, right? From now on, Samantha is mine. I can't wait to see what she turns into. Oh yeah, we read about this guy. This is the guy that wanted to give. Give her the name of his... No, 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 no. I'm mixing it up. Lab 18 is definitely getting suspicious and impatient. I'm running out of excuses for why I haven't transferred Samantha yet. I need Miriam to get to stall a bit longer. I read her PDA, so I knew she wants to turn me in. She wants my job. Fortunately, I have video of her screwing the guys from the lab. All of them. So there's my job security. Yeah. Yeah. So this guy's a creep. Who knows? whether it's academic or not. This just got serious. The tremors knocked me over the counter. I twisted a muscle in my knee. It's going to be a long lockdown spent bandaging people up without any access to full to the full medical wing. Samantha isn't mine anymore. Some other poor fool can take responsibility for this one. What happened then? And the dates are kind of important here. I heard shrill screams coming from the entertainment area. The first and last time I performed surgery, the patient woke up and started screaming her head off. Something about seeing your own exposed ribs really bothers people. Anyway, these screams were like that, only more intense. They're the screams of the dying. I've locked the emergency bulkhead, no signs of Miriam. Yeah. Let's go on in, I suppose. You can't really do anything else with this guy. I c can I? I could drill his face. Oh. The lovely sounds. Oh, it's a machine! It's a respiratory thing! And John is over there. DNA scanner? So the DNA scanner, this device appears to analyze the DNA of samples placed on its receiving tray. I think I know what I'm gonna do with that. You guys know that? Do you know what I'm gonna do with that? Yeah. Yeah, that's my blood right there. 
uh, the cylindrical hyperbaric chamber is welded shut, creating a metal tomb for anyone inside. Can't really do anything with that. What about the iron lung? The cylindrical... Oh, that's the same thing. Oh, iron lung viewing portal. Oh, this is not gonna like that. Cylindrical hyper... Yeah, let's go with that. He's not gonna like that. Iron lung. Is that what this is? Of course. I'm not sure what was <laughs> What was that? Holy fuck. It was a holy fuck? Seriously, what the hell was that? We got a PDA over there. Let's analyze the our DNA here. Let's do this thing. Hmm. It doesn't work? I think this is it. Excellent. You need to get your blood sample onto the receiving tray. And uh, I'll do the rest. Oh. So, she, uh, Tia is in control. Okay. The receiving tray is right there. It looks like it is. No? Maybe I just need to use it right there. There it is. Okay, it's working. Receiving the genetic info. This is good, John. This is excellent. Is it? I'm a clone, ain't I? Wait. I can hear something. Samantha? Yeah, I think that was the monster we saw before. I'm pretty sure it was. The frosted glass window. I wonder what's behind that. Tricks of dried blood decorate the wall behind this unit, forming childlike art. Congealed blood runs down the frosted glass wall. I wonder why? Why is there blood? That looks like an entrance, but it's not. But this thing can be used, and we can do something with that. But we're not going to do it right now, because we're out of time. <sighs> so for right now, I'm Colonel RPG. And this has been Stasis. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did and you want to see more episodes come out sooner, be sure to leave a like down below. Leave a comment as well while you're at it. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.